First of all, I have to emphasize that our countries may lie on opposite sides of the Baltic Sea, but we speak with one voice when it comes to the geopolitical threats, in particular what is happening in uh, uh, Russia, in uh, Ukraine. Both our countries are frontline states again against Russia. This is a challenge that cannot be met alone. Recent days have proved that Europe is more united than ever. For the first time, the shock wave of war has reached the territory of the European Union. For nine months, Russia opened chapter after chapter of its brutal onslaught, shelling hospitals and kindergartens, murdering prisoners of war and killing civilians. On uh, November 15th, Russia uh, launched a massive missile attack on Ukraine. As, as a result, two Polish citizens were killed. Russia bears full responsibility for this tragic event. Russia is testing our determination, but we do not give, give in to threats. We do not give in to provocations. We stand shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine. Special times call for special actions. When dozens of missiles are hitting Ukraine, we must hit Russia harder than it might expect. And here I would emphasize in particular one, particular, one special element which was, was not yet used, and this is a potential confiscation of uh, Russian assets, assets of Russian Federation and assets of Russian oligarchs. Uh, they have to feel the pain of this war. They have to be responsible for this war. Assets cannot only be frozen. Frozen assets can increase in value in due course. We need Russian assets to be dedicated, used to uh, rebuild Ukraine. And they have to feel this pain. Today, the whole world is paying for Russia's aggression. But it is Russia that must pay for all the cr crimes it has committed. Despite its many losses, Russia is still a huge threat, which is why we need further sanctions. Uh, sanctions are effective and must develop, we must develop them, although they are not indifferent to our economies. This is why we also have to be strong and we have to explain this to everybody why the inflation, why the energy prices, why the macroeconomic crisis, and we have to speak one with one voice here as well, and Sana and I, we do speak one voice with regard to the, uh, the uh, prerequisites of this crisis, why this, this is happening. Ukrainian uh, army is facing a formidable enemy alone. And Ukrainians must be constantly aware that they have Europe's massive support behind them. It's David versus Goliath. And the David, this David has to know that we, uh, the free world, we are going to defend them. And we are, we are also ready to sacrifice more to defend Ukraine because Ukraine is fighting for our freedom, for our security, and for our prosperity in, in the future. Poland has no doubt that Georgia 2008 and Crimean Peninsula 2014 was the beginning of a new era in our history. We had no doubt that Russia gas, Russian gas was as dangerous as Russian tanks. We had no doubt that the hybrid attack on the Polish-Belarusian border was a prelude to Russia's actions. Both our countries stand up to those threats Poland has built a wall on the border with Belarusian regime, and we are going to build a barrier with the Polish-Russian border to Kaliningrad region. And I know Finland is also thinking about some barriers, some walls um, with Russia as well. The level of political class can be seen in moment of threat, moment of crisis. This is why it's so important how we the European Council, the European Union, react to what is happening in Ukraine. A united society and united politicians is the great strength 
of any nation. The security of our border is not a local issue. It has a global dimension. NATO is the most powerful defense alliance in history, but the strength rests on the strength and solidarity of all the states. And this is uh, why it's so important that Sweden and Finland joins NATO so quickly and fully support your efforts in, in joining NATO, SANA, and we will do utmost to convince all those who have not yet ratified um, uh, the, 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 their legislation about uh, Finland's accession to uh, NATO. The Russians want to break the Ukrainians in order to open the way to Europe. So the Russian bear was stopped by the Ukrainians, but we need to weaken this bear so it cannot lift its paw. Time is not our ally. So we must act quickly, both on sanctions and on support for Ukraine. Russia wants winter on its side. But there is a country in modern history that knew how to use winter against Russia, and this was Finland some decades ago. The Finnish, the Finns understand the Eastern threat must, much better than Western countries. And I believe that the, they know how to unite against it. I therefore thank you, Madam Prime Minister, so much for being partners in this fight for Europe's security, in this fight for Europe's future. We must fend off Russian threats and cruelty once and for all. We can do this only when we are united and if we are focused uh, on key geopolitical risks and dangers and all the uh, secondary issues, issues of yesterday are put aside. Together we are stronger and together we are safer and together we can achieve more. Thank you, Sana.